Hello and welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We do have a very special guest with us in the building. Few names that established themselves firmly in the world of music, just like Iyabo, a multi talented solo artist. Iyabo takes listeners on a compelling journey of thoughts and emotions with every new release. Growing up amongst the vibrant and diverse music scene in Lagos, Nigeria, and with a few years abroad, was an environment full of inspiration and stimulating for Iyabo to feed off. The Afro R&B singer, however, has her own unique way of delivering her songs as she believes in the notion of why reinvent the wheels when you can make it better. Please welcome me, Iyabo. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Great. All right, let's talk about that. Where did you go to? Where did you start from? Where did you let carry you to? Because I know you went abroad. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, talk about that a Malaysia, bit more. Malaysia, to be precise. Yes, Malaysia. How's it, how's it affected your music as well? Um, mm. You know, when you get to a place, you have, you meet people from different works of life. You're not home, in quotes. So, somehow you have to learn. You have to know how they do things. You have to adapt. If mm. you're going to be there for, I mean, more than a year or mm. something. So I was there for seven years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So aside from school, I did, I still did music, but backstage. I wrote mm. songs, I arranged for people. Mm. Aside from school, I was always in the studio writing songs, mm. arranging songs. And I, that was when I started developing an interest for music production. Mm. Music production. Yes, because I watched a lot of producers work. I mean, it it was looking like magic to mm. me, but I was interested. I wanted to I wanted to learn the craft, though I, I I didn't think that was the time to start learning. But I just had an interest. So was your space Nigerian abroad? Like, were you working with Nigerians or were these Malaysians themselves? I, I worked with both diverse. Malaysians mm. and Nigerians. Mm. These are. I mean, the way they do their music, these are two different things mm. entirely. Mm. So fusing the two mm. together, it gives you a different mm. sound. Yeah, and an mm. advantage as well, obviously, because not everyone has yeah. that kind of influence. It's obvious that you are the kind of person that allows things absorb. I know a lot of people <laughs> who leave Nigeria and come back like they never left the <laughs> yeah. shores of Agege or whatever. They yes. still behave the same and, and all yes. that. But from your perception and stuff, it, does that reflect in your music where we would see you write stuff that doesn't necessarily pertain to you? Like, would you be able to see somebody's ex else ex somebody else's experience and then write off that? Of or, course. Okay, okay. So yeah. you're not all about just my personal, like your own personal N no, work and no. stuff? No, I mean, an artist should be able to mm. come up with mm. a piece of music with anything. Mm. Sure. Everything okay, now, should... now make music for Every... us. <laughs> make a song about me being awesome and him being like, ugh. <laughs> it's okay, yeah, yeah, it's okay. I can be on that. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah. okay, so tell us about your sound. Like, what influences, or let's say, how, what would I, what words would you use to describe your sound personally? Like, someone that's not listening to you now, how would you explain it? Um, basically, it's Afro soul okay. and R&B, mm. mm. you know. So, like, when you listen to most of my songs, you can tell that there is a style. Mm. So it's not like I'm here and there and there. Even though it is good for an artist to be versatile, mm. be able to do everything, because as it stands, I, I can do anything. Even rap? Um, I can write rap. I can, I've written a piece of, um, a piece of music, mm. rap, I think, trap for mm. someone. I can do it, but it's not my thing, mm. personally. Mm -hmm. But... I can deliver. Right. right. So basically, right, I've listened to a lot of your songs and I see that you always have a deep rooted message in most of them. Mm. That it shows it, it takes a lot of time for you to actually create mm. those type of music. And I know you play the instrument as yes, well. Yes, you play I the do. guitar. Even though you know and you're, keyboard, in, your, in your recent really? post you say you're rusty with playing the guitar, even though I thought it was amazing and you look like Lauren. <laughs> All these show off sound again ninety eight percent like, Oh, I didn't do so well, but you know, <laughs> like Mm, yeah, like let's just manage it yeah. better time but would you say that your ability to play instruments you know and actually get in the zone when creating music allows you or enables you to come up with those masterpieces such as nana that you have which is your recent body of work um, yes it's an added advantage mm. to know how to play an instrument yeah. as an artist because i mean you can have a song idea in your head 
but it is easier to bring it to life, life when, when you can actually touch an instrument and mm. make a sound from mm. it. So you get to know what to correct, you get to know the direction the song is going mm. and if it's what you want. Mm. So Tell us about AEE. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. All right, that's the label hmm. that I'm signed to. Oh, so you're not an indie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're a boss, madam. Keep telling <laughs> Please, us. Please, uh, give away, yeah. man. He's <laughs> <laughs> a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the label that I'm signed to. How's that been? I mean, you um, were you started off indie and now yeah. you're you're signed, which is which is a big, massive difference. Yes. But can you quickly touch on like the perks and disadvantages of being both, of being indie, being you know, um, signed, to signed a label. and all of that, yeah. Hmm. Um, first off, it's, it's been amazing, hmm. signed to, it's a young label still hmm. striving, you know, but we are striving together. Which is nice. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. So it's not like you're in control of your creative process and all? Um, that's the good thing. I am in control. Hmm. I'm, I'm allowed to express what I feel. So that's, my what, that's what you mean by you growing together. Yes, we're striving together. So that's the good thing. I'm allowed to express myself. I'm allowed to write a piece of music that comes from my heart. Well, I'm not saying that we don't get reviews. We do get reviews. Like we sit down mm. and check out the work. Oh, uh, this is okay. Um, this isn't. Adjust the lyrics. Mm. There is all of that. But Which is a good thing as well. Yes, yeah. of course. If you don't, if you if you are in a label and you don't get to be criticized by your or guys at the top, like yeah. mm. no, this line is too common, change mm. or something like that, mm. then how does that it's make a you feel sometimes? To be, though being critiqued for your work. You know, people are not there when you're writing. They don't know what you're mm -hmm. feeling. But the moment you put it out there, somebody decides to have an opinion. How does it make you feel? It's normal. Mm. Mm. I mean, if you are going to be a public figure, mm. you should be ready to be criticized. Instagram will even come for you. Hmm? Instagram will come for you. <laughs> they will <laughs> criticize up, you well. Oh, wow. It's okay to get... There are constructive criticisms. Okay. Oh, yeah, and, okay. and there is just pure hate. Yeah, uh, yes. And you, you have, you, it's your responsibility to know the difference. Yes. Okay, but I want you to quickly do like a snippet of this criticized work that obviously has been can verified by you and your body. <laughs> Nana, please. Yes. Uh, wait, you want me to sing yeah. something, yeah? From the song. Yeah. One day, one day, it's gonna be too late. If you wanna work it out, then start today. Na, na, na. Na na na, she's just looking at me. Na 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 na. I like that by saying. It's too sweet. It's too sweet. Why is your voice so sweet like that? What's that? Kind of pressure. That's almost something. Yeah, I think. A freestyle. Can you freestyle plus TV Africa? Let's see your creative, you know, side. You know, freestyle. I know you're good with freestyles as well. Um, yeah, you have to. Yeah. So let's let's do some plus TV Africa and the two affairs where affairs. Oh, you fair fair. Really? Okay. Mm. Too right. much love on the stable, right? right? Let's do this. <laughs> do you need a beat? Anything, yeah. Fine, no, 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 no. Let's just like you that. Don't do a cappella. She's terrible with it, don't worry. That's why I'm saving us the shame. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Say I'm having a good time right here. The plus TV right here with the fair on the left, it fair on the right. Hey. We're having a good time right here. So wherever you are, tune in and have some fun. I say tune in and have some fun. Hey. It's a party right here and a round table. Hey. Okay. Okay. Hey. So real quick, real quick, because I know we're kind of like <laughs> running out of time, you know, just shed some light on you, you know, if people need to find you, if people need, need to listen to your music, mm. if people need to just know what Yabo vibes, and people do, you know, she doesn't do this, she's actually Yabo vibes on social mm, media, yeah. so tell us about, about you and where people can find you. Real okay, quick. I'm on Instagram <clears throat> at Yabo vibes, vibes with the Z. With an S. Mm -hmm. um, Twitter, the same thing. Facebook, the same thing. Yabo Vibes. Um, so you can find my songs on YouTube, Audio Mac, and other blogs. Okay. And oh. then the label. Other blogs, you go and download or you go and stream. 
you can stream and download too. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes, the okay. the the, the label, label has, has a website, website aeemusic.com. Okay. So you can download all from right. there. Well, you've gotten there, all listen. that information. If you enjoyed that sweet voice, like I did, please listen to all the all the details. Rewind. Mm. Go on YouTube, check it out again, so you can make sure that you follow us. It's the best thing after fried rice, like I like to say. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I wish we had more time, but unfortunately, that is all that we can take today. But thank you so much for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this one, in case you joined in a bit later, at Plus TV Africa on YouTube. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you out to my co-anchors, if you Shike, and Eniola Baby for keeping it jiggy. She had to step down due to social distancing. And, <laughs> and of course, my beautiful, sweet voice, Yabo Vibes. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And of course, the entire production team that's always stressing me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Thank you for watching Tea Time. My name is Ife Omai.